Louisiana Beer Reviews, we're looking at New Planets Gluten-Free Beer, Tread Lightly Ale. Yeah, um, I was trying to do some research on this item. Somehow it got changed and it's a different name and it's all this information from Beer Advocate, Ray Beer, and even the company was confusing to me. So I said I give up. I'm just going to go by what's on the bottle. Okay, now as far as the date, guys, I don't see one. Um, anywhere here at 1040 a.m. so sorry about that this was given to me by someone okay and it's probably three or four years old this bottle this is the old label I had two of the other gluten-free ones from them they were okay aged but it seems like the gluten-free beers maybe they age better than the regular beers um, they didn't seem to be too affected by the long uh, aging um, Ingredients, water, sorghum, and corn extract. Orange peel, hops, and yeast. And I didn't see anything on the website that was matching up with this. So there's no alcohol by volume, no IBUs. They're given the, the calories, 179, okay? That's all I can do is show you the bottle. Will, will you ever see this anyway? I, I really don't know. It's from Colorado. been to Colorado many times and I would like to go back and see another baseball game there for the Rockies. Okay, uh, Raging Cajuns Ale. Thank you, Sonia, for this glass. I'm sorry I tripped and almost fell on the sidewalk and the other glasses, the other two glasses broke. That was a heartbreaker after they were just given to me minutes before, but better than me hitting the pavement on St. Charles Avenue. Okay, anyway, not much head. I've broken so many beer glasses, it's sickening. And there's always some kind of mishap. It's, you say, ah, oh, you're drinking too much, you're drunk. No, it's always something like, like me. I, I tripped over those, I didn't see that little area where the garden was, the, the bricks there, and I tripped. And then, or I'll, my hands will be wet, and you don't realize it, and you go to lift up the glass, and it falls and breaks. There's always some kind of mishap like that. Okay, uh, even had the beautiful Dixie glass fall in the sink and hit another glass and break in the drain. Golden, bubbly, lots of sediment, tan, fine tan particles, I guess. It's fairly clear. Looks kind of like Dixie beer now that I mention it. My nose is still giving me a little trouble, but I did eat some. <laughs> I did have a little snack of French style, you know, French sliced green beans with some Dave's Insanity sauce on it. That lit me up. That will make your sinuses drain. Okay, it smells old, but it doesn't smell rancid or bad or turn fruit or anything off. Okay, it just smells like it's an old cellared product, old wood in a closet. You know? And some honey, lots of honey, and I don't, I guess that's from the sorghum. Yeah, like this honey type, I guess that would be like the sorghum juice, whatever that would be called, syrup or something. Smells nice. Uh, most of these uh, gluten-free or gluten-reduced products are pretty horrifically bad. The Estrella Dom Doro was the best so far. The Red Bridge from Anheuser Busch, I don't really see that anymore. Um, that was, you know, fair. I see. I could understand if you were on a gluten-free diet, drinking it, it would be all right, but. I mean, I wouldn't drink any of them. Oh, there's the sun, thank you. But I gotta review them. Got to. Yeah, <laughs> it's got that um, health food store taste. If you went to health food stores in 1976, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a strong, Syrup. I don't know what kind of syrup comes from sorghum. I know that S.A.B. Miller, who got bought by Anheuser-Busch InBev, is Anheuser-Busch InBev. Now, they had a lot of sorghum beers down in sub-Saharan Africa. And they were saying that they're popular down there, 
it may take you a while to get used to it. You know, that's what they're, they're describing. And like, if you were visiting the country, you might not care for it. Um, I would like to get some more of those African beers, but we never see them around here. Like, I'd like to try the Vinhook from uh, Southwest Africa and Namibia. But I haven't seen it. I'd like to try the South African version of the Carling Black Label, the 5.5%. It'd be something to try. So it's sweet, bitterness. It's practically non-existent. It really is non-existent. Just think of sweet honey, syrupy sweetness, not overly sweet, not off-putting in any way. Some mineral water, maybe. A medium, light to medium body, a little slick, fairly crisp finish. <laughs> the strange thing about these gluten-free from New Planet, I had them once before, like when they were fresh and they were kind of, mm. Seems like the aging helped them. So I guess a suggestion is you could get some New Planet six packs and store them in cabinets for maybe four years and then drink them. I don't know. They even remarked about it on the website. Well, they had, the guy said he had an over three-year-old bottle. I'm talking about one of the people that represent the brewery. Over three-year-old bottle of the raspberry ale. And he said it was great. And I agree with this. And he talked about it taking on sherry qualities. Um, yeah. A little faint Harvey's Bristol Cream sherry type thing. Or, or maybe the California sherry from Fairbanks. I don't know, but it's just evokes that. It's not really, it really is, isn't that, but it makes you think of it. Anyway, Laissez Les Bon Temps Relay, a pretty good one. I'll say B plus, a very good beer. And I'm shocked because I thought it was going to be like something I have to force down. And y'all come on down to. New Orleans!